It's Texans Talk with Texans. The unofficial, official Texans pregame show. With NFL Pro Bowler wannabe Joe Cool the Greaser. And also NFL Pro Bowler wannabe Nick Rogers. And now it's Texans Talk with Texans. And now here are your hosts, Joe Cool the Greaser and Nick Rogers. Welcome, welcome to back to the show. What's up? What's I'm up? MC Rogers. And you know who I am, Joe Cool the Greaser. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Doing all right? How about you? Doing good, good, man. Doing good, pretty damn good. Let's um, get right to it. Let's get it. Let's get off to it. Uh, so what happened last week? <laughs> man, it, 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 you ever heard of this Presley Thong Heartbreak, Heartbreak uh, Hotel? No, I think No? Because that's what they had last Sunday. They checked in directly into Heartbreak Hotel. That's how it was a tough game. Yeah. With a lot of mistakes. What did you see, Joe? Um, another loss. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know what I saw also as, a, as another loss? I saw uh, the playoff. Uh, the, the, the playoff the, scenario? The picture? The playoff picture okay. disappear. What do you have to say about the game? This one was indeed, folks. Texans fans, um, a heartbreaker because overall we didn't end up losing not just one quarterback, but two quarterbacks in in the game. That's gotta be something. And two quarterbacks, who? Oh, uh, we lost um, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Okay. And uh, and Tom Savage. Ryan Fitzpatrick was knocked out in the game? Yeah. He was in what, first quarter? Uh, but even the second. Really? He, he jumped over uh, one defender. He, I guess he was trying to run. No, I thought he was already injured before they, they he got... He was injured before, right? No. Oh, I'm gonna, we're going to have to check. No, I don't think so. <laughs> this part might be edited out because I thought that he was injured before Tom Savage yeah. was named as... Uh, as exactly. a starter, yeah. So um, we'll, we'll we'll fact check that, yeah. Because I really I think he's wrong again. Anyways, so I guess that's all you got to say about that. I don't have nothing to say about them, but I do have something. You talk about the quarterbacks. Yeah, it's like Case Keenum's back, huh? Shh. Can't say that. What? Shh. You're supposed to keep the other team off balance. <laughs> yeah. Texas uh, fans. Okay. Like, oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait! Don't don't listen to me. Yeah, because um, we don't know. Yeah, we. Don't I try. Know. As a matter of fact, I try to get into Bill Wise's office. Actually, you know who the Texans got? Vince Young. Hey, who knows, huh? Check that out. Yeah, check it out, Ravens. <laughs> Maybe they'll fall for it. So, um, you know, they, there was these pictures going around the internet. You know, uh, internet rumors, whatever. That uh, hey, why not let JJ Watt be take a crack of the quarterback? Hey, one hundred million reasons why <laughs> Bobby Nair signed him <laughs> to a fat paycheck. Notice, thanks to the fans, you notice. <laughs> no way, no damn way. I don't see why not. There is a hey, hey, online, I I will check that. I will check into that too. Mm-hmm. And I came across where there's a picture of him throwing a ball to another person. Oh, that makes him qualify to be a quarterback? Hey, who knows? He does. <laughs> hey, he, he, I mean, JJ can do you a lot know what? of things. If that's the case, here you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here, here's an, an official wannabe ball. Here. No! Now I should be Texans quarterback, right? Why not? Hey! <laughs> wow. You know what we didn't talk about last week? That Clowney is out, out for the season. Oh, yeah, that's right. And a lot of people are, are really upset and they're saying, man, Kalani's a bust, he's no yeah, good, he's because garbage. Texas Rick Te- Smith, let's get rid of him. Yeah, I say... People want his head to roll. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because of the jet picks, we're supposed, we're supposed to be getting a quarterback. 
Instead, they choose a defensive lineman or, or bring it him instead of getting number one, the, the number one, excuse me, overall pick, uh, picked in the uh, t in the 2014 uh, NFL draft. The Texans, they got to win. The Texans fans, they got to win. If not, hey, it's either win or go home. Right or wrong, Joe? Yeah, it is. It is. You are right. I was gonna say, yeah, you are wrong. But um, they, but you know what? The thing is, their playoff, you know, dreams or whatever. It's dim. It, it, it's, and you're right. It's it's probably over. I'm I'm thinking it's over. I'm I'm trying to be optimistic, but um, I I think it's over. And uh, dude, you can't be <laughs> negative. <laughs> you gotta be think positive. You know what? Me me being uh positive and saying, Oh yeah, we I'm not I'm not one of those guys, okay, that just jump on it and say, Yeah, we're gonna go straight to, hey. through the playoffs, coast through the playoffs, and then go to the Super Bowl and become Super Bowl champions. You know, I, I think I'm a, more of a realist, okay? Some okay. You are. You're a fakest. No, not fakest. <laughs> hey, no. you know what? I believe. Like I quote Rudy T, when Rocket won the championships, never underestimate the heart of the champion. The champion lies in the heart. Tell the fans, you got to believe we need to win. We need to win? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we don't, we don't know for sure who's going to be quarterback. Or, so we have to see what happens. Well, I just said, but you know, he wants to play like he's playing secrets. Because, you know, this guy might be a, a weapon of mass destruction. Could be. Check it out again, folks. Ravens, you're in for a hurting. <laughs> I think. <laughs> uh, the, the secret weapon. Oh, oh who, who else? Who else oh, is up for a quarterback? No. Uh, uh, who else? They uh, brought in a vet, right? Mm hmm. They brought in uh, some vet. Oh uh, yeah, vet. Uh, is it Testa Verde? No. <laughs> I don't know. All I don't know is that we know only two quarterbacks, and, and, and again. We don't know for sure, but but check this out though. The Ravens are coming in after they won. Uh, I forgot the team name they to beat that Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they're coming in with their record of nine and seven. You know what? Who's also coming in? We got about four or five. Their uh, record's not nine and no, seven. No, no, four or five players from uh, when they play, when they used to be with us, the Texans fans. Okay. Our coach Gary Kubiak. Oh, what day? Our coach. Wait, whoa, our, whoa, whoa, our wait, former, whoa, our former whoa, coach, whoa, 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 whoa. Our coach. Our yeah. former coach. I'm sorry. I, I wish we would have did this last season because I would have been all over the damn Texans because this guy was so in love with them. He loved damn Gary Kubiak. <laughs> Gary Kubiak sucks. And I hope we rip their damn throats out and beat the hell out of them. I didn't, I didn't know he went to that team. Yeah, not just him. Uh, Owen Daniels? Oh God, another um, another great guy, hey, right? Hey, hey, Jacoby Jones, he's there, and Justin. And hey, guess who who let him go so he can go there? Yeah, Gary we did. I know that Texan fans. Yeah. And also uh, Justin uh, Dorsett, the running the running back. They used to be a backup for Arian Foster. Yeah, but you know, you know now 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 I'm pumped up. You said Gary Kuby. Yeah. Man, I, Everybody for like five, six years was in love with that guy. They they were like, man, this guy, this guy because, is a great coach. He was because, 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 because hold on, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't give that. Don't say that <laughs> motherfucker was a hometown boy. Whenever he was in fucking Denver for fucking twenty plus years, sucking John Elway's, you know hey. what? All right, this is a family show, so I'm gonna. I might edit that out or put a blurb or whatever, but <laughs> I hate when people say, "Oh well, he's a hometown boy." Screw him. Look, he was never he, shit. But okay? but he was an offensive coordinator up in um, up in Denver as well. He coached. I know John he was, Elway. I know he he co he coached them, but guess what? It was more of John Elway's natural talent. Okay, if a lot if you saw, we might have to cut this up because um, we're going like we're going like, zigzagging. It, it's because it has really nothing to do with the Texans, but it, it, it does, but then it doesn't, okay? Because Kubiak is so last year, okay? Yeah, that's true, folks. Texas fans, that's true. And, uh, I, I don't. I'll be. I'll be on here for an hour talking about 
talking about Kubiak because he's right. Everybody was so in love with this guy. They're like, oh, he's a you know he's he's nothing. God dang, I uh, I look, can't even speak because I'm not starting. Clubs Texas fans. The only reason you I, know, I, I, like like I, the only reason I brought that up was because of some fact. Okay, yeah. Not just he's a hometown favorite or whatsoever. Because no, he wasn't. He okay, was never okay, a hometown okay, favorite. Okay, they always right. threw that right. out there. But, but the thing is, he had at least he had some kind of a either ring, if not a ring, a play of experience. That's to me that says a lot. You got a guy in experience that can coach team, that can coach a good offensive line overall. Then, then see what happens. And it just still happens. Texas fans, y'all know what it is. I mean, y'all know this. What happened to him last year? Because he didn't get the job done down here. Period. I saw the team end up being two and fourteen. Yeah, because everybody figured out that sorry ass fucking offense that he was running. It was atrocious. It was so. I mean, he could have ran a better fucking offense than that. Damn. You think I look good as a running back? Who knows? Running backs do that. <laughs> well, I don't know. Anyways, JJ Watt. You know they've been throwing his name around for MVP. Uh huh. I'm gonna say yeah. Give it to him. Make him be the yeah, MVP. Uh -huh. He does all the things. Uh, force a fumble, return a fumble, uh, blocking the ball. That's right. <laughs> hey, hey, catching the ball too. Yeah. Hey. And Keith, now, and now you say throwing the ball. That's right. Hey, who knows? <laughs> Quarterback number number ninety nine. There you go. Texas the fans. Um, I got my five keys. You got your five keys. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, let's go. All right. Make them quick. All right. Everybody no. wants to go to sleep. All right. Number one, no mental errors, no mistakes. Number two, two is defense guys must force turnovers. Make sure uh, Joe Flacco just get quarterback. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry, folks. You go with defense. Got to stop Joe Flacco at all, period. All right. That's two. Number three, clock management. Use the clock management or clock as your friend. Number four, Bill O'Brien got to make better coaching plays, better decision making overall. Or else, the way happened last, last Sunday. He's going to end up looking like Coach Kubiak. There he goes. He, hey, man. He, I'm proud of you. You catch it on. Oh, All right. And at number five, must win. No excuses. Must win. All right. Zero excuses. That's my five keys. I kick it back to you. Here's our next segment where we have uh, some callers that call the show, ask questions or whatever. And uh, all right, let's start. Go ahead, caller. What's your name? What the heck is this? Go ahead, call. What's your name? Uh, uh, yeah, my name's, uh, Barry. Y'all guys can call me the Prez. The Prez? The Prez? Isn't that from, like, a candy that people buy? <laughs> the Prez? President Barry? Is that, is that Barack? No, 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 gentlemen. Uh, uh, let's just say I'm a president of, of a large company. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I, I just watched your show, and uh, y'all are doing a great job, uh, just like me. Uh, oh, yeah, because, uh, I mean, the economy is, is uh, you know, booming right now. Uh, you know, people are spending money all the time, and uh, it, it's, it's just a great time to, to live in America. And uh, even though, you know, all the crimes happening around and stuff, but, you know, I'm, uh, uh... Get to the point! I'm, I'm, uh, trying to fix that. And, uh, you know, gas is cheaper now. So, uh, uh, you know, that, that's, uh, on my behalf. Do you have a question? Come on. <laughs> no, I was just, I was just, uh, saying y'all got a great show, and, uh, I guess that's it. Well, thank you very much. All right, thanks, uh... President Pre Bobby Prez or President Candy Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Next caller. Who is this? Hey, you remember me? You sound you sound familiar, Joe. Do you think? What? I think what? we heard him last week. Yeah. Um. Remember, I called in last week and warned you about a storm coming. He says something like that. Well, it did rain. It rained kind of bad. Yeah. So um. What do you want, caller? No. 
That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a shit storm. Okay, who is this? It's not about who I am. It's about what the city needs me to be. Oh, the city, huh? <laughs> you and the city are in danger. And next week, you and the city, well... <laughs> what? Well, we're in danger. Danger? But don't worry, guys. I'll make sure that justice is served. On a cold plate? <laughs> Seriously? <Good>. Come on! <laughs> Texas fans, they thought that someone, some moron, no, no, that's not how, that's not how we do it. Uh, <laughs> the guy's crazy. Alright, uh, next caller, go ahead. Next caller, please. The Swiss board is, is full, I'm telling you. But we're not going to take no bead callers and keep on acting that way. Nicholas Charles Rogers, listen to me now. Oh. Shut your mouth. Joe Kill. Who's oh. this? It doesn't matter who I am. You will meet my demands. Your demands? Demands? What demands? What demands? I do not like the Texans. I hate them with every fiber in my cell. If I could, I'd burn down the Astrodome. Because it's just collecting dust and rats. <laughs> oh. Well, it's kind of right over there, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> who are That's you? That's a touchy subject. Who it doesn't matter, said? like I said, Nick, Charles Rogers. Okay. Keep your eye on the game if you can, all right? This is the prize that I have, that I want y'all to do. By next show, which is, I guess, your last show, right? I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. Let's hope not. Let's well, hope not. I mean, it depends. It's about 50 50, folks. Okay, it's well, let's just say it's over, okay? Because the Texans suck. And if y'all don't meet my demands, well, what the hell are your demands? Well, what are you talking about, man? My demands, if y'all two don't stop cutting me off, is y'all better wear some cowboy shirts. Some cowboy shirts, some cowboy attire, some cowboy jerseys by next week, or we will blow up your show. Take the fans, never. Tell me like it is, say never. Gonna blow Okay, whatever. Young up to good, good riddance to bad rubbish. Anyways, <laughs> uh, man, that was, all these callers have these damn theme songs and stuff. That concludes our show, and uh, uh -huh. and um, I guess we'll see you next week, right, Nick? That's right. And let's get that win, and let's get that free slushy on Tuesday. Hey, we'll see y'all next week. Same time, same back channel. There you go. We out. So, well, I don't know if it's a light week. It's just, I don't, I don't have really any notes, and he doesn't have no notes. We're doing this blind. That's okay. right, that's right. So, we're just going with the flow. We'll see how it goes. He's trying to be a rapper. Anyways, uh, that might be your next song, Going With The Flow, see how it goes. Can you do a song real quick? Yo, I want to send a special, a special a shout out to our boy. I can mention the name. But he goes by that killer fish. Let me use the Manatic jersey. You know who you are, the killer fish. <laughs> the killer fish. Oh, there you go. You could be one of us. What do you think, huh? Touchdown. Ready? Yeah. Woo. H to the heart. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, with the heart right here. <laughs>